Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. This evening's shave, I'll be using uh, Washington from Heritage Hill, as well as the uh, Soothsayer from Craving Shaving. Everything's been whipped up in the stainless uh, polished bowl from Hendrix Classics and Company. And the razor, I don't remember on this side, y'all have seen this from there, is the, uh, the high proof that I have on loan from a good friend of mine. And then I'll be finishing that off with some Soko Moon. I love this bottle. I mean, just look at that. And then the cork on top. I mean, the presentation of this is amazing. And I gotta say, the scent is fantastic. Uh, now, the scent notes for the soap. Now, this is their Bay Rum. So it is uh, Tobacco Bay, Jasmine, Patchouli, Sweet Orange, Fur Needle. Uh, it smells really good. The, uh, the Bay and the Patchouli just play really nicely together. Beautiful scent. The blade in the high proof is a second use statum. I think, it's, I think that's how you say it. I have not used the high proof before. It literally just arrived today. I knew it was coming, so I wanted to give it a workout, see how it could handle the two days of my growth. I have not seen any videos on the high proof. There are those, there are videos out there. I'm just saying I haven't watched them. Uh, one thing I really like about it that wasn't, you know, I, I got it, no blade in it. I'm looking at it going, how does that come off? Just tried to, tried to slide it, didn't work. Tried to do, pull it back, that really didn't work. So I just pulled it off. So it has magnets, hold the blade in place, and the head. Now I'm not going to be shaking it around, going, oh, look, it doesn't fall out. It's pretty strong magnets. And this kind of reminds me of the Broman in that it is hinged as well. Uh, not a lot of blade exposure, if you can see that. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, the person that is letting me borrow this one swears by this razor. And we're seeing stubble gliding down the handle. That is quite nice. The handle design is uh, very unique and it's dolphinized, makes it very light, but a little, I don't know, different. I already know because of the hinges, some people are gonna hate it. It does cut very well. And the Cedar blades are really good. Uh, one thing I will mention, even though Heritage Hill is an extremely slick, slick soap, it's uh, one of my favorite bases. Not aluminum, because it's a matte finish. I noticed when I was doing this a little bit, it kind of dragged. There's a little bit of drag behind it. Not horrible, but definitely noticeable. That is not a knock on the soap because the soap is incredibly slick. No, it's getting under the nose. Okay. Uh, not the easiest to get right underneath. That's why I also do a cross grain. Okay. Overall,
overall not a very not a bad first pass. Nice and lightweight. Mm, didn't get a lot of these areas as close as I would have thought on the first pass. But that could be until we're getting used to the razor. As I mentioned, this soap, hair to chill, in my opinion, is a sleeper one that a lot of people don't know about, or don't seem to know about, but really need to look into. I like the, the skeletonization of the handle. I think that's really cool looking. And it makes it easy to hold. This is a more mild razor. Which is not a bad thing, always. Pass the human test. It's not bad. The final verdict will come after, of course, a couple more uses. Uh, I'm going to try a bunch of different types of soap as well. You know, some, some nice high-end soap like Heritage Hill, a Barrister and Man, PAA, some middle, kind of middle tier, middle of the road. She's I mean, still good soap, but not like super high-end. Don't want any of want to pay anybody. I don't know I did that. And then I uh, have a couple soaps that are lower end, just not as slim, not as nice. Try it with that, a couple of those. Try it with and without the liquid lightning from, uh, also from Jesus Apothecary, which is where the, the Soko Moon came from. That's what this is. Soko Moon. Uh, set notes will be in the, uh, will pop up when I use it. I don't remember they are, but it's a, it's a citrus base, I believe. Okay, that's not bad. The addition of the pivoting head is actually not bad at all, especially on the neck, going up against the grain. And around the chin area, and that's not bad at all. Now the question is, how close is it? Okay, not bad. Now granted, stadium blades are very, are sharp and efficient and smooth. Something else I'm gonna do is try different, a variety of blades. And here, that wasn't the smoothest. Not as bad, it wasn't super comfortable. Okay. Oh, that was just close. Getting stubble. Okay. This part of the chin's gonna be the real test.
Okay, store right there. Right there. Okay, usual areas on the chin. Put a little bit of stubble there that there's the paint it get off so I don't chase it. Overall, that's really, really close shave. Not bad. All right, so far, first impressions. It's nice than thought it would be. I didn't really know what to think of only seeing the pictures, but I guess I haven't seen any videos on it. Well, I didn't know how to take the top cap off and put the uh, razor in or the blade. So it is a two-piece razor, as you saw. Just the top cap is held on by magnets. There's two in there underneath the blade. Um, overall, really uh, close shave. Even on parts of the chin that are normally difficult. So to finish off here with some witch hazel. And then I'll try some of that silk moon. We can pour to that. That. When that came in, I smelled that, and oh man, it's good, really good. All right. And like I said, I love the presentation on this. Just that the design on there with the cork. I will say with the cork, how oh, this is witch hazel based. Didn't use a witch hazel. But with the cork in there, it makes it so there's no restrictor. Oh man, that is just mm, amazingly good. So since there's no restrictor, be careful. Ooh, that's a lot. It does have a milky color to it. It's not blue like the container. That would have been awesome if it were. But it's not. Oh wow. Okay. Skin feels really good with that. And the smell is so good. Oh. Set notes will be here on screen. Mm. That smells amazing. I would love a soap with that scent in it. Or even just the the scent notes, you know, in a Vial, so I could do that with some of my unscented soaps and have it in a soap. That smells so good. Oof. Uh, if you're interested in Hazlitt's Apothecary, this the Soco products, they are available. Um, they're available at three shops. Uh, came right all through the top of my head. Uh, again, links will be in the description for the Hazlitt's Apothecary items, as well as the bowl and uh, the high proof. First impressions of the high proof razor, not bad. Um, am I completely sold? Not yet. I do, as I mentioned, I like the, the thinness and the design of the handle. I think in here, nitpicking could be a little bit more rounded off. Uh, you know, holding it like this, you can definitely feel kind of those edges. Uh, I like the, the the head that it just comes off and you can grab the tabs of the blade, pull it up, you can see in there where that goes. So I do like that aspect of it. It can take, obviously, um, blades have been snapped in half or the, uh, the salon blades that are pre-cut. Pre so definitely use this a few more times with, as I mentioned, a variety of soaps and blades and Kind of go from there. But anyway, uh, before this video goes on too long, I want to thank you all for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time.